Hey guys, good morning. Uh, we are in the guest house, gathering all of our things together and getting ready to go. Didn't vlog yesterday. It was raining and we ended up just working in a family mart all day. <laughs> but today is go time. It's supposed to rain in the afternoon, so we're gonna get out of here early before the sunrise. It's 5.30 something and uh, yeah, China. guys we're all set ready to go it's gonna be a hilly day rain's gonna start around two o'clock maybe around noon this is the earliest I've been up in, in quite some time let me show you how I attached my uh, banners here I just wrapped a string around I, I taped up the edges so they won't fray as much and so the QR codes are kind of pointing up so if you're riding next to me I think that's pretty pretty attractive and then you see Jayo basically it says hi I'm Matt I'm traveling around the world for 10 years or so and uh, Jayo means you know you can see me on the Jayo nation and if you're in the bottom line is really kind of important it's like it, it just search on Google for Jayo and you'll find me and then this QR code just takes me directly to uh, the, the YouTube channel which is cool oh forgot the flag All right, yesterday was quite literally a wash. I did work on some video stuff, which was, which was good, but overall couldn't do much. So today's time to make it up. What a, what a beautiful morning, the sun is rising over the hills. I feel like we got this road all to ourselves. Really nice. How you feeling? Very good. <laughs> Very productive today. Very productive. How, how long have we gone so far? I think less than two hours and it's the entire length of yesterday. <laughs> the day before yesterday. The day before yesterday. <laughs> We've just gone about 15 kilometers and a couple of days ago we were like, oh, this is as far as we can go. And what time? It's not even eight. It's eight o'clock right now. It's eight o'clock. So we've got a day ahead of ups and downs uh, that that should be pretty nice. The not notable part of today is a 15 kilometer rise, uh, but it's a fairly steady. It's not like crazy janky. It's just boom, 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 boom. So we just had our morning coffee here, and uh, it's time to move. Let's do this thing. Hey guys, uh, we are stopping at the side of the road because we have probably the best view we've had today. And that's saying something because today has been full of great views. It's been a beautiful day. It's still early. What is, what is it, nine o'clock? Uh, let me check. <laughs> Whatever, it's around nine o'clock. And uh, we have been yeah, graced cold. by uh, beautiful Mount Fuji. But the problem is, do you see that stuff at the top? That's not cotton candy, that's, that's not a pillow. That's slippery, icy, wet, and cold. I promised myself that if I got to Mount Fuji and it was dry on the top, I would definitely climb it. Now we have some, some danger objectives to overcome. So maybe when we get to Fuji Kawaguchi, we can possibly get some gear and get up there. If not, we got some great views and it's been amazing. So we're gonna keep going. So far, so good, right? Yes.
What happened? I hit it. You hit it. Oh, nothing happened. Nothing. Okay, okay. That thing's pretty strong, I think. High quality. Play us a song. <laughs> what should I play? I don't know. Okay. So. That is so out of tune. <laughs> okay, now. We're here. Backpackers Hostel Case House. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay. Hello, buddy. Hi. <laughs> wow, this hostel is very, very nice. Super cool. And the view is fantastic, too. Mount Fuji's right down the way. Seems like we're laying some things together. Right now, we're going to go and check out the uh, opportunity to rent some climbing gear. And uh, if that looks good, then uh, we'll have that box checked tomorrow. Uh, we're going to see if maybe we can get a taxi up to the top and uh, start a climb and uh and john's bike is falling apart so we need to go to a bike shop and see if we can yeah make sure that's of course good. it's falling apart because it's been ridden on from by somebody from okay. protocol to japan okay your bags say vietnam lao have like seven countries you know that's cheating <laughs> wow. you know that's cheating Shut up. i had somebody walk past the trike yes normally they look at the trike they walk past the trike and they when you were looking for your camera because your bike was sitting uh -huh, there, uh -huh. walked past the trike, didn't even look at the trike, <laughs> was like, you went to all those countries? <laughs> I was like, oh, come on now. That is so cool. Actually, <laughs> you guys now. should do that, you know, if you want to get some attention. Just put all the countries, make up names. <laughs> yes. Kaglakistan, where is that? Oh, you've never been to Kaglakistan? Oh, Mars. Nomad can't buy, must rent. Oh. Japanese big one. <laughs> Japanese big. Biggest. They look like they will fit, actually, I think. Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good. We're renting gear, you know. This is this is serious. Yes. This is real. I'm I'm renting boots and some walking sticks, some gloves, a hat, some socks. Honestly, I do not want more stuff, more stuff to carry, but I guess. You gotta, you gotta get some things, right? <laughs> After this, we're gonna go to the uh, secondhand shop and yes. hopefully see if we can find some warmer, maybe yeah, I'll just need some, some warmer things, warmer jacket. All right, let's see if we can pick up a few bits and pieces to make our little climb a little bit safer. Jacket. How much is that? It's only twenty dollars, and it says used, but it doesn't look very used. No, it's new. Back home in Michigan, I uh, I was the master of the secondhand shop. We had a place uh, near me called Value World, and oh my gosh, I would uh, I would go there on half off days. So like a sweater that was like Amber Crombie and Fitch used to be four dollars, now it was two, and I would leave with garbage bags full of stuff. Garbage bags full of stuff. <laughs> I was so proud of myself. I'd spend like $30 and just come home with just so much clothes. All right, so we got our gear for the most part. I need a little neck brace, but I think, think I can get it at the Quickie Mart. We're gonna buy some stuff, drinks and snacks and whatnot. We're gonna schedule a taxi to take us from the hostel at about five o'clock in the morning up to uh, the fifth station, which is the beginning of the climb. I've been up on Fuji before, but this will be a new experience every time, it's something new. If I hadn't met John, I'd be going up there alone if the weather was right. And I wouldn't be going up there actually if it, if it had snow on the top. But now that I know that I have a um, bro to rely on, it makes it a lot more uh, feasible.